Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'm going to teach you how to create animated text in different symbols like stars and clouds using any software that you want. I'm using Photoshop and Premiere Pro for this video, but you don't have to. You literally can use your video editor and any app that allows you to draw. I'm going to leave all the links you'll need for this video in the description. If you find any value from this video, make sure to like this video and subscribe. It would mean a lot. And yeah, with that being said, let's get straight into it. So before I get started, I just want to say you can use a font for this video or you can choose to handwrite. Typically, people will just handwrite. This might be easier if you have an iPad with a stylus or something like that, but I'm just going to be using my mouse and my laptop here. So in this case, I'm going to be using Photoshop just because that's the only drawing application I have. I'm going to leave links to Sketchbook Pro, which I know is available on iOS. I'm not sure about Android, but I will find applications that work for both that are both free as well. You can also probably just find a website for this. Uh, but yeah, I'm using Photoshop. So the first thing you want to do is you want to create a new project in whatever application you're using and you want to make sure the dimensions are 920 by 1080. Um, this is the resolution of a 1080p video. So that's what you want to do. I'm going to start with text first. And I'm going to show you the process of animating it. It's essentially the same process for any other elements you want to create, like clouds or stars or doodles. It's going to be like the same three step process. So I'm going to create this right here. So this is it. You can keep it as a white background if you want, but if you want to speed up the process, you want to delete it or else when you import your text or your symbols into your video editor, it will have a white background and you won't actually see the video, but there's a way around that as well. I'll show you later. Uh, so we have just a transparent background right here. I'm going to take my brush tool. You want to make sure you have like three different layers. It depends how many frames you want in your animation. Uh, typically, I think people do two or three just because it's a lot faster. So I'm going to choose a brush. I think a softer brush would work or maybe like a handwritten brush, like a pencil tool or something. I'm just going to choose this actually. So you can see I'm writing. I'm actually going to make it a black background so I can actually see. I'm going to remove that later. So let's just say I write subscribe. And you can tell I'm using my mouse right now. So I do recommend doing this on your phone or something, doing this on your iPad, probably your iPad's the best. So we got the first um, thing, right? You might want to increase the flow to 100. Um, this is a little dull. So let me do this again. So there, I got the basic text done right now. So there's a few ways you can animate it. You can animate it so that it gets thicker. Every time it animates, every different frame, it gets thicker and then it repeats. You can also do it where it stays the same size and animates and it looks like it's wiggling or you can do it so that it changes color every single time or you can do a combination of the three. I'm going to briefly show you guys how to do each of them. Uh, so the reason you have three layers is because you're going to have three frames of this animation and basically going to trace on top of each different one. So right now, this is the first one. So layer three is the first one. We're going to move layer two on top of it. And we're essentially going to trace over. So I'm going to do the one where it gets thicker every time because I think that's a cool one. So right now it's at 20 size. You just want to make it like 30 or actually a little bit bigger. And you literally want to trace over. And the reason why this will make for a good animation is because there's no way you're going to trace exactly like you did before. You want to actually purposely make it a little bit offset. So I'll show you what this does. So this is how the animation is going to look right now. Then I'll show this, but faster and it'll look very seamless. Uh, I'm going to do the last one and I'm going to make it way bigger. And you want to do these on all different layers. I'm not sure how this will turn out um, exactly and export them separately. So right now we got the biggest one. I'm going to export it as a PNG. A PNG just guarantees that it has a transparent background. So I'm going to go into my video editor right now and I'm going to import it. So we got three of them right here and I'm going to add some footage underneath it. Uh, I just need to find some. So let me just take this photo of me. It could be a video, but I don't have a video that I can just import. But here's just a random photo. So if I just scrub through it, you can see what it does. Right. But right now you can see each of my uh, photos actually last for five seconds. So that's not really going to work. So what I could do is just shorten the length of each of them. Let's just say I want it for like less than a second. Let's do 0.5 seconds. So I think that's 0.5. So I'm just going to make sure each of them are the same length. It's going to be a very similar process for your video editor. 
So I want to make sure it starts at the skinniest and then goes to the second skinniest and then third. I think this is actually still pretty slow. Um, so what I'll do is I'll actually nest them. So this is a feature in Premiere Pro. It might not be for your video editor. If it's for your video editor, you might have the same feature or you might just have to shorten the length. I'm just going to do this. So I'm going to nest them. So it basically groups them. I'm going to press R and I'm basically going to just shorten the length of it. You can also right click and press speed and duration and it does the same thing. So this just speeds up the photos. So right here, you can see that's probably the speed I would want it at. And I'd probably want the line thickness to be less thick at the end because there's a big discrepancy. Um, but I just want to show you guys how to do this. And you would just duplicate this a bunch of times. So on Premiere Pro, you can just hold Alt and drag. So I'm just going to do that a bunch of times for like five seconds. So this is the animation you have. You can do the same thing with stars um, or clouds or just like random lines. I'm actually going to do it with stars. I think it'd look really cool with stars. I also forgot to mention, so let's just say you have a white background and you drew a star, for example, like this, right? So let's just say you want to export it. The way you would do it is a little bit different because obviously, like, if you just place it on top right here, it's just black. Um, so if it has a black background, you want to go to your blending mode and you want to set it to screen. If it's white, you want to set it to multiply. But you can see screen works here. So just in case you have an app or you're in a situation where you have a black background or white background, you can just do that. So I'm going to do the stars real quick. Um, we're going to make a new layer. This is the one I see the most. So let's just say boom, 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 boom. Let's just say I have that right. We're going to make a new one and we're going to make this maybe smaller a little bit. We're just going to try to follow the same path. This might turn out way better, to be honest, because the line thickness is going to be very similar. So let's just say we do um, just two frames. So let's just export this one. So if we import those two, I think it turned out much, much better. So I'm just going to shorten it way, way more. So yeah, I think that's good. We're just going to duplicate it a bunch of times. So I'm holding alt and dragging. So you can see the stars, they animate. And so you can do more frames, you can do different ones. So this is just the basic line thickness one. This one just gets thicker every frame. And then I also mentioned how it could just be the same thickness. So it's the same thing, except you just trace it multiple times with the same thickness, which will sort of give you the same effect. The last one is just color changing. So you can integrate this with like line thickness and have each color be different thickness, or you can just change the colors of each one. Um, if you just wanted to change colors, it's not that hard. So. You can probably just duplicate your, your layer like two different times. So you have three to duplicate on Photoshop. You want to press control J and I'm just going to go to blending options, go to color. Let's make this one yellow and let's make this one blue. Um, I would personally change the thickness. It just adds a lot more variation and depth to the animation, but um, I'll show you how this looks like. And so it's going to have the similar effect, except this time it's going to be different colors. And then after this, I'm going to show you how you can alter fonts so that you don't have to handwrite in case you can't, in case you're just handwriting atrocious or something. So we're just going to duplicate this a bunch of times. So this is how it looks like, right? Very, very basic. And so with the fonts, it's a little bit different because you don't actually write it by hand. I'm going to link some fonts that are free that look like handwriting. Um, so my favorite one is have heart. This one is paid though, but I'll link some free ones in the description right now. It's all in capital letters, but we're going to change that. So all you would want to do is you would want to duplicate it. So press control J twice on Photoshop and you want to press control T and you want to hold control. And basically you can alter sort of like the angle and sort of skew it a little bit. So I'm going to do this again, control T on the bottom layer, and we're going to slightly move it. You just don't want them to be in the exact same spot. You don't even have to skew it. You can just have it in slightly different positions. So I'm going to show you how this looks like. I just realized there's probably a faster way to do this. 
um, on Premiere Pro. So you just want to nest all the clips and then just speed it up. So I'm going to press R and we can just speed it up. And I'm just going to duplicate it a bunch of times after I nest it. So here is the final product of a font that you may be able to use. Right? So you can see loops. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial. This is a very DIY type of effect. This requires like no effects. This is just hand drawn text effects and symbols. I've seen this a lot when I watch lifestyle videos. I'm a big fan of them. And I'm going to start making more tutorials based off of other YouTuber stuff um, because I find a lot of inspiration in that. If you guys enjoy this video, make sure to comment below and let me know if you want other videos like this and be specific when you ask for a video so that I know what to make next. I'll also leave a playlist to similar videos that you guys can check out. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. My name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one.